What's happening guys? Blank here and welcome back to the last case of Benedict Fox. So from this teleporter we decided to come all the way here. Now we're standing here. The map kind of like opened up for us. So it's up to us to figure out if there's something here that we may be missing. Let's see. So there are a lot of numbers in here that we might have to trigger. But honestly speaking, I'm not sure what they mean. Like, so we can trigger some of them. Like we can do this. No, no, not that one. This one. And then we can open up the one on the top. But then I think that you need to trigger out of them, right? Wait, that was not it? That's an E. Oh, because there are some codes at the beginning that we need to be able to trigger that we do not know yet. Haven't we been able to like see something like this before? Let's open up our pages and let's try to figure that out. So this one doesn't give you any keys. This one doesn't give you any keys. We need to see the horrible pages, like the ugly pages. They might be able to give us some cue or code. Huh. I guess not. There is no code. There is no secret. The notebook page also doesn't really tell you anything. Things like this might be able to, but also they don't really give you anything or any hints. What is this? Huh. Part of a decryption code. Maybe this is the answer? You start with a bottom and then one line and... Huh. Who knows? That could be it. But that's a decrypt... That's the, the decipher for what? Like, what are we gonna... What are we trying to decipher right there? Honestly speaking, I'm not sure. There are some parts of the Mother's Embrace right there. And now that we have defeated that enemy, we can get the final part, right? There is one more that we're missing. Okay, so this is not as easy. I thought, I thought there were only going to be four of them and then we were going to be good. But no, that's not the case. From here, we can open up that door on the behind. And well, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. This door, we cannot access it just yet. We're missing some secret. And yeah, I mean, with that done, I think we officially have not figured out where exactly do we need to go. That way we can explore that. Let's do that. Let's see from Father's Garden if we can discover something else. I know there was a device that we were not able to find the, the code for. So we do have to be paying attention to that. We got that secret in there. That's fine. Yeah, this is what I wanted to see. This is what I was talking about. There is some code right here that we need to decipher. And I believe that this thing is what I was thinking about. Like probably this code is in the pouch. You guys remember this? I think that that's the log that we're talking about. Let's go ahead and let's probably, I don't know, take a, take a photo of that so we can take a look at it. However, something that is to consider is that this code right here, a part of the code needed to open the cache. Code to Cam Sera's lock. So yeah, this is this is the Cam Sera. This has to be Cam Sera. So if we look at it, the wheel lock, we have actually four. Wait, is it three? It's three. So my guess would be that the small one should be should be the inverted Y. Then the middle one should be like a straight line. Wait, 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 did we just pass it? This. And then the final one should be an, a Y up. Wait, did we do it? Did it change? Wait, why, why did it change? Yeah, that should be it, yes. There you go. All right, another camp. Looks like they've set up for good. We need to find the main camp if we want to stop them. Let's 
Follow the breadcrumbs and banish them all, Benedict. So we succeeded the first decryption. But with that done, does that mean that we were able to like open some of these gates? How do we even know which gates did we trigger? We gotta go down and we gotta start checking each door maybe? I hope that's not the case because that would be really... Really a little bit too much without giving you some sort of hint or something. Let's open up our map. Yeah, find additional camps. It's not like something that you could have decrypt so easily. But anyways, let's open up the map once more. We gotta go this way to see if we can open it up. And if not, we gotta go down. We gotta check this area up and maybe this area up. Who knows? Let's try to solve all of these puzzles and all of these answers. That honestly speaking, they are quite tough sometimes. Yeah, we cannot open up that gate. So that's the first secret that we don't have to worry about. Okay. Did we kill this guy before? Yes, we did. And then this is a strange that the game kind of asks you to decipher that section because it's weird. And here, I thought that this would be another one of the camps, but that's not the case. Okay, from here, there are things below us. And we cannot really go above. Okay, I understand that. This is a new area and we have Wheel of the Downsons. Yes! That's what we were missing! Oh my god, are you kidding me? You meant to tell me that that key was there all along. That is insane. How do we even miss that? Oh, that tells you that opening up that knob is like your best friend on this game. And we cannot really open this. First off, have we been able to find something else? No, we cannot. And nothing here. Beautiful. Final wheel. Wheel of the Dawson. Let's go. Let's get to work. And we got an achievement. Now we can get to work. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, I gotta say, guys. Keep your eyes open and... You gotta be really focused, because otherwise you're gonna end up getting lost. At the very least, we were able to explore the whole place for Mother. So that's pretty nice. Unfortunately for us, we don't have enough uh, materials for our little friend right there, the one that uses our tattoos. We have 73, we need 80. But I think we have been able to collect every single ink that the game has put in front of us. Nothing to do there, we already got that. And you, what's up? So once again, it's two, it's, I always forget, two, four, sixty-nine minus one, 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 one. That's two, three, fifty-eight. Easy. So we go for the two first, which is... Wait, where are you? Oh, here it is. This is the two. Then we go for the three, which is the PP up. Oh, here it is. No, wait. Is this the PP up? Huh. Why, why, why? Isn't this supposed to be the one? Oh, the one on the back. Wait. This is so strange. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Yeah, PP up is three. Okay, I, I was looking at the thousands and I was like, that makes no sense. Then we go for the 30th, which is 50, which should be the penguin pack. Yes. And then the last one, it's an 8, which is the inverted 4. Coincidentally enough. There you go. Can you please stop it? I wanna... There you go. Thank you. Then let's put off on a secret. Put it right there. But do we have the key for this? We don't have it. We need to open up the Kogai door. And this requires the Kogai... I mean, I, I believe that once we're able to open this door, 
we should be able to open up the rest of the Kogai doors. You guys know the, the ones that are in the map too. So we're missing something. That's perfectly fine. New secret right there. I love it. This is another Kogai door that we haven't been able to unlock. So then from there, what type of doors do we need to open? Honestly speaking, there's only one and it's this one. And I believe that the other one is in Mother's Place. So yeah, it's going to be a run around. And now we can actually open up this door. So now we have different codes. Let's open up the device and let's see. Well, we don't really need the, these waves. We need to start by the first one, which is done. Then we need the, the tail. Great. Peg up and then the inverted four. That's the first one. Boom. Now the second one is in the middle. We need the triangle. Right here. Then the chair. We go with the Y and at last the nose. The final one, however, would be a really weird double line. The nine and a T, like a full T. It's pretty cool. Nice looking device. Send wave. Wait, that was not it? Unless you guys think that that one is 100% inverted, then at that point, the answer would be floor floor. And then a nine here. And then that one. Huh? It was inverted. Oh, because the stone was broken. So it's supposed to be like a mirror. Oh, I think that's the answer. All right, that's that's fine. I mean, we were able to get it, so that's good. Nice. Everybody's dead, and now. Rat's mask prototype. It reminds me of the time that I damaged my mask during training when we discovered our gift. The ring of the side was used by my father. so young and innocent, Benedict. Yeah, it's a shame the rest of the world thought otherwise. So, now that we unlocked that one, wait, why is this door still showing up like that? That's weird. This one shouldn't because it's going to confuse me. But I think with that mask, we can come back to the beginning of everything and try to open up this gate. It doesn't really give me an answer. Oh, wait, we can jump up? Wait! Since when that's open? I never noticed this. Okay, this is something that we never we never actually noticed before. And that's actually interesting. It was it was like a there is nothing too crazy, it's just like a run around. But then might allow us to open this door. And what do we get here? Decorative poem. An ungifted gift. A bundle of hopes and wishes never fulfilled. A symbol of cowardice and hesitation. Um, alright, so we did that for no real reason. There is a code in here that we can unlock if you guys remember, so let's go for it. And let's see what those rifts are all about. Because that's that's what's next. So honestly speaking, I'm not sure what to do next, so um we're just gonna have to go around and try to unlock all of these out of those decipher rifts see what they're all about so this is mmxx3 so that's 2023 so if we're gonna do 2023 we need to do not that one this is 2000 this is zero okay and then we need to do it for 23 which is this one and then the three would be this one
What did we do? What did that achieve? Huh. So that was our first rift, and it didn't really achieve anything. We were just able to open it. And even though that's awesome, it doesn't really take me anywhere. So now that we are back at, uh, in, in mother's memory, we can jump down and here we can discover that last secret. So now we can start doing this. Oh my god, it's everywhere. This place just takes you everywhere. No forgiveness. So we do the double E. Oh no, this one has to be fused differently because this one has everything over the place. So we have a nine. The one for the back has to be uh, a tail up. So we have the tail. Then we need on the behind, we need the double lines. And then for this one, we need a T. That's the first wave. Beautiful. Now for the next one, we need first a J. Then we need the inverted L. No, this is actually a normal L. Okay. Then we need a 9. And then we need a peck. And the last code will be all the way to the top, which is a 9 at the top. Yes. Then some sort of like line down. No, no. Some sort of like another 9. Okay, I see the other 9. Then for the behind, we need a an L, and then for the front, here it is. This actually allows us to go down. And now that we're in a new area, this is weird. Oh, this is a whole section. We have 100% ink here, but for this new section, we have nothing. Okay, that's awesome. And now we gotta keep discovering things. How long do you guys think until we actually fight the boss that is hidden in Mother's place? In Mother's place. Cannot interact with anything. That's fine. Huh. Can we walk from the behind? Yes, and there is. No secret? Just a couch? I could have sworn that there was going to be something. Okay, that's fine. And then, exploring all of this, we didn't really go to the behind. That's alright, we can teleport at some point. Oh, hello! Did he fell? Now he's dead, so I guess that's all that matters. We have 1010, 110 uh, dark matter, so that's awesome. And now we are in a snowy area. With some sort of... What the freak is this? Snow globe. Curious. It feels empty. And at the same time, not. What's inside? We can inspect it. Only loneliness. Benedict. <laughs> what the freak? Alright guys, so this section right here might take you a couple of times to defeat. Mostly because of reaction time. So some sections become tough. Because you gotta know, like, unless you know that they're coming, sometimes they come really, really, like, tightly. And boy, when that happens, isn't that tough. Some sections like that one, if you do not block, you will pretty much get hit. And it's really strange because you don't really block it. Some sections like this one. Yep, you gotta keep moving. And you gotta be really careful. And I think we did it. Did we? Yes. Nothing here is what it seems, Benedict. Yeah, there's much more to Mrs. Floyd than we thought. But what did we achieve by doing that? Is it just a little bit more exploration? Life made an appearance in the house. Let's examine it, Benedict. Yeah, 
uh, before examining anything, I think I'm better off just killing everybody and trying to find my next um, teleporter before doing anything else. Just like in here, we know that we can go down. There are some things over there. Yeah, we might have to go back to the house, I believe. But as always, it's really tough to decide if you want to go back to the house or if there's something else that you need to do. Because there's normally secrets like this one. And then, yeah, because from here, there needs to be... Yeah, if we go to the left, we're going to be finding... Where is it that we need to go? A reef! Reefs are nice! Because reefs allows us to... Can I put it? Well, I guess we cannot pull them, but we can definitely hit them and kill them. And now, Universe Vibration Metronome. Cool. But anyways, with that one added, we can send everything back. And we can teleport back to the mansion. However, we see that there is multiple things that we can discuss about and that we can do in the Foyer's Mansion. But this is where we're going to be wrapping things up for the day. Next episode, we're going to be speaking with these people. Now that we finally have that compass maxed out, there is not really, oh, where do I need to go or what am I missing? We just know that we got to keep exploring and probably they will give us some extra tips. We have tattoos that are going to make us more powerful, such as this bad boy right here. And then, well, I mean, we're going to we have more reach and we, 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 we we're just going to be a full on strong boy. Yes. Anyways, I hope that you guys are having fun. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.